Welcome back. Well, the Indiana Department of Education has released new results from its latest I read test. And according to the data, nearly one in five Hoosier third graders are not yet reading proficiently. Joining us now on Unfiltered tonight is Dr. Charity Flores, the department's chief academic officer, about the steps being taken to help students become strong readers. Doctor, good to see you. Thank you for joining us here on Unfiltered. Thank you. This report, it's eye-opening stuff. So before we get into what you're doing to fix it, why don't we get into what contributed to this? So last month we released our iLearn results and um, our data with iRead um, reaffirmed some of the challenges that we have coming out of the pandemic. So as you emphasized, we have one in five students currently that are um, not able to read um, at that uh, proficiency level that's expected at the end of third grade. That is um, also uh, challenging for our students that are special education and also English learners. And so those are two areas where we're really trying to dig in and determine what additional supports might be needed. How bad is this compared to years past? Well, we have seen historically some slight increases, but um, our current data um, has dropped off significantly as a result of the pandemic. Um, and so we are looking at some specific supports um, to bolster our uh, academic performance, specifically highlighting um, alignment of curriculum to the science of reading. I read something about the literacy instructional coaching model that's being launched this year. What exactly is that? So we are um, using some of our federal funding dollars um, that are aligned to um, learning loss so that we can place instructional coaches at some of our buildings that are demonstrating that significant need. So those instructional coaches are serving as a direct support um, to educators um, and are directly impacting um, the curriculum and the level of instruction being provided to students at those locations. What else is the Department of Education doing to rectify this issue? Yes, so we have um, some significant announcements coming out um, in the coming weeks. Um, but one of the things that we are really trying to emphasize is this notion of the science of reading really um, trying to promote uh, quality phonics instruction alongside vocabulary development and also reading comprehension. So um, there are five pillars that we're trying to emphasize, um, but again, both with families and with educators, really making sure that reading is um, front and foremost um, to ensure that we're able to make sure students have those foundational skills. You said it at the top, how much of a role the pandemic played in this, but what do you mean by that? Sure, so we know that um, reading takes very intentional instruction being provided to students. And so um, with variety of modes that were um, in play during the pandemic, we know that some students may not have received the same level of access to some of those um, foundational skills that would have traditionally been provided, um, or there may be um, some other disrupting factors that contributed to their learning and so we really want to make sure that each student at this point in time is receiving very intentional and sustained supports based on the needs that that we have um, and all of the local corporations have data to better understand where it, each student may be. Dr. Flores I have one more question before I let you go how long do you expect it to take for kids to catch up? So we released some data um, last month more broadly, but we anticipate for academic recovery across both math and English language arts to take three to five years for our student populations. Wow, okay. Well, hopefully we get it done, right? Uh, we keep plugging along and hopefully we're, we're having a different conversation in the coming months. Dr. Charity Flores with the Department of Education, thank you so much for taking some time for us here on Unfiltered. Thank you for having me.